Good morning and welcome back to Morning Markets from True Potential, Paul Duran's Investment Director. If we start by looking at how equity markets performed yesterday, we saw continued strength from UK stocks and European markets following on from that trend of last week of positive returns. In the UK, they really benefited from having a large weighting to oil and gas companies. We saw the oil price rally 5% yesterday, pushing up the oil price back above $100 a barrel. US stocks initially rallied, um, however, that faded after Apple announced that they were going to reduce hiring and spending given the economic slowdown they foreseed. In terms of economic data, we've heard from Jeff over the last couple of business, business days around corporate earnings. Really important because we can get uh, a sense of how companies are coping with the inflationary pressures, the wage pressures, and also the slowing demand, not only for the, the second quarter just gone, but also for the year ahead. Banks, US banks are reporting at the minute Goldman Sachs reported yesterday their earnings and revenues came ahead of expectations, a really a real boost for their shareholders and for their share price. Interestingly, though, given the uncertainties around inflation, higher interest rates and slowing demand, they're also beginning to pull back on hiring and also the potentially seeing job cuts. Despite that, they were able to increase their dividend by 25%, again, a real boost for their share price yesterday. Bank of America, a new US, US bank, reported they missed in terms of earnings and revenue, so you saw their share price not perform as well and just shows you the divergence that you get within the banking sector and an opportunity for a good stock picker. But what was interesting was that in terms of delinquencies, which are... Um, consumer defaults effectively on debt, what they are expecting is those rates to be well below pre-pandemic levels and just supports the notion that the consumer continues to be in good financial health and that should help support economic growth going forward. In terms of UK data, we had labour market data this morning. What we saw is that the UK labour market continues to show real strength. You've got job vacancies much higher than uh, the amount of unemployed people. The unemployment rate came in at 3.8%, better than what was expected. It was expected to creep up to 3.9%, um, but that wasn't the case. 296,000 jobs was added over the three months, which was the third highest reading ever over the last 30 years since the statistics started. So real positive for the UK labour market. What we saw in terms of wages, we saw wage growth 6.2% when you include bonuses, slightly less than what I expected. If you strip out those bonuses, it came in at 4.2%. When you adjust for inflation, however, you've still got negative real wage growth and that's a squeeze on the household. So a challenge for the Bank of England, which meets next month, but on the whole, a fairly positive uh, labour market report. And then finally, we heard from GSK Spinoff, uh, which is a UK pharmaceutical company known as um, Helion. They announced that they uh, have a listed on the UK stock market. What's big about this is that it's the largest listing on the UK stock market for over 10 years, coming in at a valuation of 30 billion. Just shows you the demand for UK businesses, very, very strong and multinational and a real positive for the UK economy. That's everything from us today. Thank you for listening and we'll see you tomorrow. If you're interested in taking your investing to the next level or would like to know more about the options available to you when you retire, then download our free guides to ISAs and pensions. These are available in the video description below.